Welcome back to the channel guys, I hope everyone's doing well. Yeah, I know it's been a long time, it's been a little while since I posted a video. Um, been a few reasons for that, but mainly I've been working on a lot of stuff, namely this studio right here, and um, yeah, working on some new tracks and new stuff. So today I'm gonna do a little bit of a studio tour and an apartment tour, because a couple of you said you wanted to see what this little gaff is all about. So basically, this is like my workspace now. Um, it's my old one bedroom flat, um, and I've just basically converted into a recording studio and <laughs> and YouTube studio. So yeah, excited to show you around. So we're coming through the front door. First thing we're greeted with is a couple of packages. I'll go more into that later on. Um, so yeah, this is like the hallway, sort of hallway area, like entrance bit. It's a bit dark actually because that light's not working for some reason. Um, bit of artwork on the walls, colour things up a bit. Got a nice modern toilet and shower in there. And then we come through into the nerve centre. So this is what I've been working on. Um, the studio setup, so it's all based around this kind of desk, this console thing, um, and I've got obviously monitors at the top. It gives me a few layers to or levels to actually put stuff. It's actually got a couple of 19-inch rack um, spaces in here, so you can actually put some Apple gear if you want to use. See, I've got that old um, effects unit in there. So I've got my controller keyboard here. It's a complete control um, Novation keyboard. I've got a QSC touch mix, which handles all the kind of analog inputs. This is a fantastic mixer because the routing is really good. Um, it, it's like a live mixer. And I originally bought it for kind of like running live gear, you know, without a computer. So it's really cool. You can do literally like everything. So you can take like a channel and you can actually have like um, built in EQ on the actual channel itself. It's got compressors, gates, all the all effects built in. So it's a really powerful um, kind of, you know, one stop shop mixer. And it's tiny as well. It's got like 16 inputs. Sorry, not 16, it's got 12 inputs. So that screen there is actually like a 4K LCD screen. It's like, it's super high quality. I got it from Amazon. Um, basically it just runs off of uh, like a Thunderbolt display port type setup. Um, it has got HDMI ports in it and stuff, but it, it's a great second screen and you can sit really close to it. it gives you like a big screen um, for the laptop, which everything's kind of centered around. Um, this is the MacBook um, Pro M1 and I'll tell you what, this is just a game changer for me because this just runs cool. It's pretty much silent, doesn't make a noise. Um, and the amount of plugins you can run, are, it's, it's ridiculous compared to the Intel version. So this is the new one, they've changed the architecture. You know, like if you know anything about me, I've been into ARM computing for a long time. Um, my company started originally with um, ARM computers and now obviously Apple have gone and done it properly and it, it's astounding. Yeah, I'm so impressed with this computer. It's actually kind of given me a lot of inspiration to sort of, you know, write some more, more music on the go because of the flexibility of it. Um, there are some issues with compatibility. I'll maybe do another video about that because some of the plugins and, and bits and pieces, I mean, 90% of the stuff works, um, you know, if you're kind of moving through the times and you've got old software. 90% of it works in emulation mode. Like it literally just emulates um, like the Intel architecture and it, some of, I mean, some of the stuff is still running in, in emulation mode because the developers haven't updated the software, but it, it's just ridiculous. Like the, the performance of it, you can run so many more plugins, you can run so many more effects. You can you can just get lazy and just pile stuff on and then go and you know stream down stuff when you're kind of making your mix at the end. Just you basically no longer have to worry about CPU. CPU power is not an issue. And then I've got my monitors, my HSH, which are tried and tested. Just I love them. They just sound. I know how they sound. So I know what it's going to sound like out and about on different setups. What's really interesting about this room? I've got some bass traps here and some acoustic, you know, paneling to kind of sort out any reflections. But it's so acoustically dead and good in here, like that. My mixing is just so much easier now. Um, really, really made a huge difference. Just the size of the room, because it's a small room, um, I think it's actually kind of helped a lot. Um, but yeah, I probably don't need these bass traps, but they, they certainly help. So over here, we've got what I call my big stack. So I've got um, my Yamaha Modi X6, I've got my Novation Mini Nova, and a System 1, Roland System 1 as well. This is just a get you out of trouble. If you have trouble with um, software simps, um, not quite sounding as good or as fat as they can, then just come to the big stack and all will be um, all will be sorted. I've got some other hardware as well, my Wardorf Blofeld, which is superb for like trancey sort of sounds and stuff. Um, and yeah, I've got this, which I've been playing around with, model cycles. 
Um, this is cool, it's like an FM synth. It's like a groove box really, but it's, it's pretty awesome. And some other bits and pieces just lurking around which haven't got a, got a home yet. I'm using a little PreSonus 24C as an audio interface at the moment, because I didn't really, up until now, I didn't really need a lot of inputs. Um, but I'm actually gonna switch this over for the PreSonus um, Quantum, which is in that box. That is a big three tier keyboard stand as well, which I'm gonna shuffle my keyboards around. So this is behind me on the other wall. Um, this is my YouTube kind of editing setup and live streaming setup. Also, obviously camera points this way so I can actually film myself in the studio as well. This is based around the M1 Mac as well. That's a Mac Mini. I actually bought this one first um, to try out and I was so impressed I went and got the MacBook Pro because um, it's just absolutely awesome. So for video editing, that little machine is an absolute beast. So as you come out of the studio, you'll notice immediately the sound changes and it becomes all echoey because that is how good the sound is in that room. It's just dead completely. So we've got the little main area here for just kind of chilling, um, watching a bit of YouTube, having meetings, that sort of stuff. You can see here, it's got the scooter in there, rude not to, and also <laughs> the little mini bike parked nicely in the main space. Got my little lightsaber light as well. So I'll be doing some more videos on this actually. I've changed the suspension over. This um, swing arm angle is, is wrong. It needs adjusting, but I didn't have the tool here. But I've managed to fit it anyway. It has actually made quite a lot of difference. When I sit on it, it actually just squashes up. Um, but yeah, little bike's running well. It's fantastic around here. It's loads of woods and stuff to rip around. And then we've got the essential kitchen stuff, kettle, coffee maker. And on the floating kitchen unit, absolutely perfect for having a DJ set up. Because why not? Aircon unit, and then just the table of crap, because that's where I just dump everything. Oh yeah, I nearly forgot, the Twizzies here as well. So that wire goes down and actually charges the Twizzy from downstairs. I could probably actually fit some solar panels on the front here, maybe. So it's my birthday the other day, and I just turned 42, and all of a sudden, I'm getting excited by things like cordless hoovers and stuff like that. Pretty sad, I know, and I know Steve will have a few things to say about this, but um, this is really cool. This little hoover is perfect for this little space. Um, this is a GTEC Highlight 2 and it's literally just like a cordless hoover that looks a bit like um, like a manual, you know, one of those things you used to push, the mechanical ones. Crazy, it's a battery in there, and everything goes into a little bag, and I reckon it's better than a Dyson. It's 120 quid. For those of you wondering what that TV is, that is a Samsung Serif. It's pretty cool, I like the look of it. It's a bit sort of scanned it. Something different, back, TV back on a stand, like the old days. So yeah, as I said, I've been making some new music. You know I make the music for my videos anyway, um, and it, usually it's just I make the music to suit the video, not the other way around. So I've been kind of going back to my first love of music, which is like um, trance, like the house, like the, the progressive stuff, like real melodic stuff. That's what I really love, because it comes from my kind of background of growing up listening to Jean-Michel Jarre and Van Gelis and all of those guys. So I'm really, really passionate about that. And I've kind of gone back to what I really love doing, which is making that stuff. And um, so I'm going to start doing that. I've, already started building a bit of a catalogue of tracks, um, maybe for an album, but more likely I'm gonna be releasing individual tracks. So I need you guys' help if you don't mind. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put out some tracks to Beatport, which is the you know the big dance music retailer that all the DJs seem to go to to um, you know basically buy their buy their tracks to play out. Um, I'm also gonna release it on all the other platforms as well. But what I wanna try and do is see if I can get in the um, in a Beatport chart um, you know, I've put a lot of work behind one of these tracks and I'm hoping, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling it basically. So I just really wanna, um, I'll share it with you. I'll share a little clip now, but I won't be able to put too much in because obviously it's not released yet. And you know, I'm kind of doing it through my own label this time. Um, so I'll, I'll even get a copyright strike on my own track. That's how crazy YouTube is these days. <laughs>
if it's if it's not your bag, don't worry about it, of course. But if you want to support me, I'll scan them with that volume knob. Yeah, if you want to support me, then um, yeah, go go check it. I'm not going to make millions or anything out of this. I do realise that. Um, but yeah, I just want to get tracks out there. I'm just really excited. I'm really buzzed by like you know getting this getting this out there now. So if you can help me get in some beatport charts and stuff, it won't be yet. I think probably going to release this maybe like in the next couple of weeks. I've got a few things to just sort out, but I'll let you know on the channel like as soon as it's going to happen. Nothing else. Right, weather's looking good. I think I might nip into town. I think I'm going to go on this. The 2000 watt scooter. Yeah, still running good. Solar P1. It's really handy for nipping into town because you can actually wheel it into the uh, into the shops as well. That's why I actually prefer this, you know, for actually getting places than the e-bikes the e because you can just wheel them around the shop. So Slap the saddle on. Looks a bit like a mobility scooter, but I don't really care because it does like 40 mile an hour. This thing as well, I was seeing like loads of scooters around, like kids riding them with this little bag thing on the front. So like, what the hell is that? It's all about, but it's like a, I looked on Amazon, I found it. It's like a, just a bag you can stick your phone and stuff on, or you can stick the camera in, which is going to be pretty handy. Yeah. The great thing about around here is there's loads of cycle paths. Good old Harlow. Such a quick and easy way to get into town. Hey guys, look, check this out. Look at that drop off down there. I think we need to have a me, Steve and Neil reunion. What do you reckon? That is Steve. It's literally going down to the... Right, back at my desk. So I'm gonna crack on editing this video, which you're watching now, so I can actually put it up tonight. Whilst I eat a piece of leftover birthday cake. Catch you in the next one.